Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 12 noon Eastern Daylight Time on Monday, September 11th, coming to you uh, this afternoon with an update on Hurricane Lee, which you can see here, situated about 600 miles to the south of the island of Bermuda. Still a powerful hurricane this morning with maximum sustained winds of about 120 miles per hour. You can see here in the visible satellite image, you can start to see hints of an eye forming, a, a big blow up of shower and thunderstorm activity near the eye. And real quickly, I want to show you sort of a unique look at the inner core structure we've gotten from the NOAA P3 Hurricane Hunter aircraft. This is actually radar data collected by the aircraft this morning in Lee, and you can actually see a double eyewall structure. You can see an inner eyewall here, and then an outer eyewall trying to form with, where you see these yellow and dark blue, uh, dark green colors. And we're, what that means is we're starting to see the size of Lee expand. We actually have hurricane force winds now extending out as far as about 75 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds now extending out almost 200 miles from the center of Lee. And that's a trend we're gonna see continue for the next several days. And that's that's going to have some implications for how the hazards associated with Lee in terms of rainfall, wind, uh, potential coastal flooding and storm surge and, and uh, it's dangerous surf and rip currents are going to play out along the U.S. East Coast up into Atlantic Canada for the island of Bermuda over the next several days. What we're expecting right now, we're seeing Lee moving slowly toward the northwest at about eight miles per hour and we're expecting a general northwestward to west northwestward motion over the next day or so and then a slow turn toward the north as we move through the middle portions of this week and then we expect Lee to accelerate northward as we get later into the week and into the weekend and that's going to take the center of Lee uh, northward across the western Atlantic uh, near or to the west of Bermuda during the day Friday and then up toward the uh, northeast coast of the United States New England Atlantic Canada as we get into Saturday and beyond uh, in terms of the intensity forecast we expect Lee to perhaps strengthen here a bit in the next day or two but then even as the uh, peak winds come down, the wind field of Lee is going to continue to grow in size. We could see the tropical storm force winds expand uh, by 50 to 60 to 70 percent in terms of how, how wide an area they're covering, maybe 300 miles from the center as we get up into the uh, uh, day four to five time range. So that means that even if the center of Lee remains offshore of the coast of New England, we could still see some significant impacts in terms of, of uh, high winds, heavy rainfall, coastal flooding, high, wind, uh, uh, high surf, and uh, dangerous rip current conditions uh, extending up across along the coast of New England up into Atlantic Canada as we go into the weekend. So we'll look now at the most likely time of arrival of tropical storm force winds. So if you're in Bermuda, we expect those uh, winds would be most likely to begin during the day on Thursday. There's about a four in 10 chance or about 40% chance right now of seeing sustained tropical storm force winds in Bermuda. We're starting to see those chances of tropical storm force winds increase along the coast of New England, places like Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, Cape Cod, up into the coast of Maine and the Nova Scotia we've seen. Uh, and, and the most likely time of arrival for those winds would be sometimes uh, during the night, Friday night, or into Saturday morning. So still a lot of, uh, a lot of uncertainty as to the exact track of Lee and how close it will get to the coast of New England and Atlantic Canada over the next several days, but certainly the potential for significant impacts, again, with a growing storm in terms of its size and impacts. What we're very confident in is that there's going to be a, a tremendous amount of uh, high waves and dangerous marine conditions that will translate to dangerous conditions at the beaches along much of the U.S. East Coast, high surf, rip currents. This is the forecast significant wave height field associated with Lee by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. And these areas in pink near the center are significant wave heights of over 50 feet. And, but what you also see are these purples and blues are significant wave heights of the swell field of, of, of Lee approaching the uh, east coast all the way from Florida up to North Carolina. And those dangerous uh, surf conditions are going to expand northward. And a reminder that even for folks in Florida, the southeastern United States, the mid-Atlantic coast, even though Lee is going to remain well offshore, distant hurricanes can still produce deadly rip current and surf conditions. So please, if you're going to be going to the beach, check the warning flags, uh, swim in areas where there's lifeguards. We lose a lot of people to uh, distant uh, hurricane generated rip currents along the U.S. East Coast. So please be safe. And just a reminder of what that rip current risk even looks like today. Areas in red here, much of the east coast of Florida up into southern Georgia has a high risk of rip currents, a moderate risk along much of the coast of South Carolina and North Carolina, even up into the mid-Atlantic states, and a high risk along the North Carolina Outer Banks. So please be safe as you go at, head out to the beach uh, this week. So just a reminder with a few uh, key messages here as we uh, take another look at Lee, we're very confident there's going to be dangerous surf and life-threatening rip current conditions along uh, much of the northern islands, northern uh, shores of the uh, islands of the Northeastern Caribbean from Hispaniola to Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Leeward Islands, affecting also the United States, the Bahamas, and Bermuda during the coming days. Lee could bring some uh, impacts in terms of wind, rainfall, 
and high surf to Bermuda later this week. Uh, we could see uh, you know, watches issued for Bermuda as soon as tomorrow. And it's also we could uh, increasing risk of some impacts on the coast of New England into Atlantic Canada. It's a little too early to get into the details and exactly the magnitude and timing of those impacts but certainly could see uh, you know, tropical storm conditions, heavy rainfall, certainly gonna see dangerous surf and rip currents as we move up into the Northeastern US and Atlantic Canada later this week. So stay tuned. Again, remember Lee is gonna grow in size. There are gonna be impacts far from the center. So uh, don't pay too much attention to the details of the track forecast of the center itself as we go through the week. So please stay tuned for more updates here from the National Hurricane Center and we'll bring you more on Lee as we go through the week. I'm Mike Brennan.